The plant with an exposed seed is the other seed producer. The exposed seed is called cone. Example of this, we have pine trees, firs, and cedars. And then another example, we have hemlocks, spruces, and larches. These kind of plant seeds are called, again, conifers. They either have needles, shaped leaves, or scale-like leaves. Next, another, we have non-seed plants. As, um, under non-seed plants, we have four types. The first one, we have ferns. The second one, we have moss. The third one, we have fungi. And then the last one, we have algae. Let's talk about first the ferns. Ferns, kids, these are plants that have roots, stems, and leaves, but have no flowers. So again, ferns doesn't have flowers. They reproduce spores. Spores are a reproductive structure that has capability of developing into a new organism. Next, we have the moss. Moss, these plants do not have true roots, stems, or leaves. They can be found in damp places around the world. As you can see, kids, on our picture, the moss are what? Places around the trees. Next, moss form in special structure called pods. Okay, they also grow on rocks, on trees, just like in our example, and in the soil. When we say pods, kids, it holds a plant's seeds. Again, when we say pods, it holds a plant's seeds. Next, we have fungi. Fungi is a group of spore-producing organisms feeding on organic matter. Okay, under fungi, kids, we have types of fungi. The first one, we have slime mold. The second one, we have yeast. The third one is mushrooms. Okay, let us learn them one by one. So the first one, we have slime mold. Slime mold kids, these fungi have no definite shape. They are able to move from one place to another. Again, they are able to move from one place to another. And then the next one, we have yeast. Yeast is a fungi that are too small to be seen without microscope. Again, this kind of fungi kids, sometimes they are using yeast to make bread. And then the next one, we have mushrooms. Maybe this, type, this picture kids you are familiar with because some of, ma some of mushrooms, we can eat them. We can eat them, right? So mushrooms, commonly called as toadstool. They are fleshy, spore-bearing fruiting body of a fungus, typically produced above ground. On soil, it is also a food source. When we say food source, kids, we can eat them. And then the last one, we have algae. Algae, kids, these are the simplest of all non-seed producers. They can be grouped by color. The first picture, we have blue-green algae, can only be seen using a microscope. While both, both of them are fresh water and salt water. While green algae can grow one meter in length. Another example of algae, we have the red algae and brown algae. So kids, these two color algae can be found in salt water. And one of these types of algae is the seaweed. And kids, seaweed, can, we can eat that kind of um, algae. Next, we have according to flowers, stems, and leaves. Again, plants may also classify according to flowers, stems, and leaves. The first one, we have monocots. When we say monocots, kids, they have thin, soft, and smooth stem. They do not grow very wide. Their leaves are long and narrow. Their, le their leaf veins are parallel. Their flower parts are arranged in sets of trees. Examples of monocot plants, we have grasses, 
orchids and lilies. And then the other one we have dicots. When we say dicots kids, their, stir, their stem are woody and covered with bark. They also grow, grow wide and tall and spread on top. Their leaf veins are netted. Their flower parts are arranged in sets of fours or fives. Examples of dicots we have radish and castor. Next, according to the presence or absence of plant parts. So we have two types of this kind, uh, this kind of absence of plant parts. The first one we have flowering plants and examples of flowering plants we have mango tree, tamarind tree, and roses. And then the other one we have non-flowering plants, we have the grass, ferns, and kangkong. Now, did you understand our lesson, kids? If yes, let us have our activity time. Kindly open your book on page 170. Let us answer le review letter A. Here's the instruction in review letter A. Answer the following questions. Write the answers on the blanks. Here's the first question. How are plants classified? Again, how are plants classified? They are classified according to their habitat or place where they grow, size and texture of stem, presence or absence of seeds, flowers, stems, and leaves. Question number two, what are the most familiar fungi? We call them mushrooms. And then number three, how are aquatic plants able to float on water? Aquatic plants have hollow and soft stems filled with air so they are able to float on water. And then question number five, where do our boreal plants get water and minerals? They get water and minerals from the air and bark of trees. And then for the last question, how do vine, vines grow? Again, how do vines grow? They grow by crawling around a piece of wood. Now let us answer review letter B on page 171. Instruction letter B, identify what is being described. Write the answer on answers on the line on the blanks. Okay, question number one. Plants that grow on tree trunks or branches is called arboreal plants. And then number two, plants that grow on land, what is it? Terrestrial plants. And then question number three, plants that grow best in water are aquatic plants. And then number four, plants that have big, woody, and hard stems are trees. Next, question number five, plants that have small and woody stem are called shrubs, while question number six, roses, mangoes, and tamarinds belong to this group are called flowering plants. And then number seven, grass, ferns, and kangkong belong to this group. And what is it? Non-flowering plants. Next, question number eight, made up of plants that have roots, stems and leaves but have no flowers. We call it ferns. And then question number nine, plants that do not have true roots or stems and or leaves is called moss or mosses. And then question number 10, plants that have either needle shape or scale like leaves is called conifers. And then for the last, sec uh, second to the last question, slime molds, yeast, rust, smuts, and mushrooms are in this type of plants. What kind of plant is it? We call it fungi. And then for the last question, a type of red and brown algae is called seaweed. Did you really understand our lesson, kids? Thank you for watching. So today, we don't have assignment in science. Thank you for listening. Goodbye, kids.